hello friends welcome back once again in this video we i will give you a quick overview how to apply a student permit through canadian web canadian government website and what documents really be required for uh, for this student permit if you are new to this channel my name is azam and i am doing master in chemical engineering at university of calgary canada and this video will really helpful if you want to take uh, if you want to fall intake or winter intake both will work at the end of this video i will show you how to organize these files in uh, in a folder or in a google drive that will really help you for applying <coughs> applying for this permit so without further ado let's get started so you just have to go and type canadian student permit uh, in in your browser and then you your first the first result will be a study permit so if you click this they have a very good uh, they have a very good uh, systematic process then how to apply so there is a 1 2 3 up up to 1 to 6 but uh, but for now uh, up to 4 we will discuss up to 4 because this is after you apply so you you just after you apply you can go there and check so uh, first first of all uh, read this you know like oh, uh, from now you have only 10 days you know to uh, if you want to go and fall uh, fall intake then you have only 10 days they already mentioned the date uh, 15th May will be your last day to apply for <coughs> apply for fall but it doesn't matter if you apply today and for winter that is also applicable so <coughs> don't uh, don't afraid if, if you have if you have a chance if you're late no problem you can just go and apply uh, apply now or a little bit late no problem and uh, then you have to pay for 150 to keep in mind that this is your fee will be uh, fee you have to pay and that should be uh, from credit card so you should have on credit card otherwise you will not able to uh, do this permit and uh, <coughs> few things you just have to go and check you know from how long you have to stay this is kind of uh, information they already provided on the site uh, and who can apply so uh, because because uh there is lots of lots of student you know uh, go there so they, they must have know that how, which which criteria they they belongs to so for example first one if you don't have uh, if you don't have enrolled if you haven't enrolled so far in a, any dli means designated learning institute so don't apply because that's the main important document that they required and, and the, the number two is you have enough money if you don't have enough money don't apply <laughs> so uh, be be careful right so the tuition fee is little bit little bit you know hefty and uh, living expense you know the canada is uh, expensive country so and the, the the third one is obey the law this is mandatory everywhere uh, in your country as well and you should have a good health uh, you, if not then you have a medical medical exam so you just have to click uh, i don't know which country you belongs to just you have to click some of the countries exam uh, medical exams required some of not then i don't know which uh, you just have to go and check your country and that's the last one is very important and people overlook this you have to prove to official that you will leave canada canada you will leave canada means this is very hard right so how to how to convince that you will leave the canada you leave canada then your permit your permit will expire so that's the very hard thing to write and that is that is where you have, and that is what the letter of explanation required you have to prove you have to prove that you will leave the country that's the 95 percent cases of rejection is based on based on this people never provide that you will leave the country okay so <clears throat> go ahead and just you have to read this and people people who don't need permit that those who are uh, short term studies you know and there is lots of other and those who are uh, why you get a study permit if you don't need one because there is a two more main important thing if you want to further study you cannot do that right you you are more than six month six month a student then you you must have to apply and and if you are less than and you just go there and you if you want to continue you cannot continue you can you you have to go back to your home country so that's the that's the problem and the second one is you cannot do any work or uh, canada canada most of the student go there and the work uh, off campus on campus 
but if you don't have this study permit you cannot work that's the that's the that's the good good part of canada uh, and what document is required so if you can see the proof of acceptance letter as i as, as i told before proof of identity most of us have a passport home uh, home country passport then this is the identity is enough proof of financial support this uh, this is a big one uh, what if you have if you have money if you are a student how 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 uh, if you take loan or somebody sponsoring you this is the big uh, big document financial support <coughs> based on that they they also reject uh, lots of application and the last you know last point i told just like i told you there is nothing you know you leave the country you leave the country when you finish your study this is nothing here to show you that you leave right so that will cover in letter of explanation you have to explain whatever you think right everything you achieved you not achieved your family members Uh, your canadian relation the, everything you have to tell here otherwise they will reject your application that's the big uh, document you have to convince them so <clears throat> so without further ado let's go let's go uh, to the next one proof of financial support we already talk about this no proof of canadian bank account if you have you if you already submitted uh, gic to one of the banks over there then you just have to show that if you taken proof uh, proof of a student or education loan from a bank or if you have a money then you just to provide the four uh, the four months statement latest statement bank draft proof of your paid tuition fees if you already paid then you just have to show that okay i've already paid my tuition fees and housing then uh, you know all this documents and all these documents required as a financial financial support Uh, otherwise they will not let you let you in and how much you know how much is required if you are going as a single then this is the requirement like 10000 can dollar uh, and this is this is outside quebec if you are applying in quebec then it will be a little bit little bit higher like 11 11000 if you have your family member then you have to add these uh, canadian dollar like 5000 case uh, in the first family in uh, quebec so the total they they have given some examples you just have to go and you know do your maths and you come up with some numbers this is the letter of explanation we we'll talk about so why you want to study in canada and what you understand a responsibility to study so this is not only that you know why you want to, why you don't, why you don't want to leave the country that's the that's the main thing they they checked every time So this one is a big document, the really big document, and you have to, you know, write single word by word, very clearly explain that you are going to leave the country. Okay, okay. So from here, uh, other documents, you know, okay, we'll talk about later on. Okay, so from here, now you come up with the document. If you doc, your document is ready. your acceptance letter is ready you have a valid passport or travel document and proof can you support yourself then you are you are eligible to apply again they are saying if you are if you are going in a fall semester fall intake then deadline is 15th may so you have only 10 days from now anyways uh, doesn't matter you know you don't have to uh, don't have to uh, panic you, if you have 16 16th may 17th or may and just apply you know just apply maybe they will uh, they will let you they, they will let you know that okay your uh, application is already approved right there is a two step approval so uh, so uh, now from here you just have to say okay i'm outside canada or inside canada so like i'm inside canada oh outside canada and apply online so they talk about if you apply online what you have what you should have like credit card and blah 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 things you know biometric what the expenses you you will you will have if you are applying so there is a five step go and read and then you have to create an account so from here onward you just have to create an account and uh, <coughs> and uh, and this is like more than 10 minutes video so in the next video you know i i'm creating one playlist uh for all this video so you just have to go into next you know next uh, next video just click it somewhere here and 
and watch the next series you know because this if i if i make like 30 minutes video it will be very bored and lengthy share this video if you like this video and uh, and, uh, and really I, I will really appreciate uh, if you watch all these videos because this is very informatic video what I, I learned from past uh, past six months or eight months and if uh, any of any of your friend really required <coughs> required uh, this kind of information uh, and thank you for watching and, and catch you in the next one thank you so much